Did you know that a skyscraper flaw could have flattened Manhattan? One student's call changed everything? In 1978, structural engineer William Lemesherier found out that the CD Corp Center, a skyscraper he designed, had undergone some changes from the original design. He was told that bolts had been substituted for the welded joints he had prescribed. At the same time, Diane Hartley, a student, spotted a fatal error in the design and called Lemesherier's office. Did you account for quartering wines? Later, Lemesherier was answering questions via phone a young architectural student named Lee Decorolis, relaying what his professor had said about the building structure. Those phone calls and the bolt substitutions convinced him to recalculate the wind loads, including the diagonal wind loads. Lemesherier checked and panicked. The no! calculations of the building's stress parameters and the results of wind tunnel experiments confirmed the bolts could fail in a storm. Lemesherier then orchestrated a clandestine repair mission. Construction crews started installing the welded panels at night. Then, Hurricane Ella barreled toward New York City during repairs, but veered east, a twist of fate that spared the city. Lemesherier hailed the episode as a triumph of ethical engineering. You don't hide from your mistakes. You fix them. Hartley's and Decorless story underscores the power of curiosity and courage. Today, the CD Corp Center stands as a monument not just to innovation, but to the students who dare to ask, what if? Stay curious, it might save lives. Subscribe for more untold history.